Hello again. In this tutorial, we'll be creating an enemy, boundaries, and easing an effect on the character's motion. To start off, create an enemy character. I'm making it 50 by 50 pixels. Convert it into a movie clip by pressing F8. Name it enemy underscore MC. Make sure the registration point is in the center and, and export it for ActionScript. Now delete your movie clip. It's still in the library. Go to your actions panel and create a variable for your enemy. Just like your player variable that creates a new player or your player character, do the same for the enemy. <coughs> Create two more variables. This these two variables will control the easing of your character. Variable X speed and another variable Y speed. Okay, go down to your eframe event handlers and inside the if statements change the player x minus equals x speed. Change the next one to y speed. Change the third one to X speed again. And the last one also to Y speed. And make sure the X speed equals zero and the Y speed equals zero. Under the if statements, type x speed multiplied equals to zero point eight. Do it again for the y speed. This will add friction to your character. Now add player dot x plus equals x speed. Player dot y plus equals y speed. Test your movie. Oops, I came up with a couple of errors. <laughs> Enemy has a lowercase. Let's try it again. I set up my if statements a little incorrectly. Uh, let me fix it once more. Go down to your eframe again. And change the x speed and y speed to minus and plus 
speed. Test your movie again, and this time it should work with an easing effect. Close it, and we'll begin with the boundaries. Create an if statement for the player dot x plus player dot with. If it's greater than stage dot stage width then the player dot x will equal stage dot stage width minus player dot width divided by two. Copy this if statement three more times. <coughs> now for the bottom two, change the Y change the player dot x to player dot y and change player dot height width to player dot height and do the same for the stage width to stage height Now if player dot x minus player dot width is less than zero, player dot x will equal player width divided by two. Player dot y minus player dot width mean height. Is again less than zero. Player dot y equals player dot height divided by 2 and make sure you change all the y's all the x's that need to be y's to y's Test your movie. And I made a mistake in the divide division signs here. Just change that quickly. Try it again. Okay, now you can see that my character still moves around easily. But when it hits a wall, it stops. X out, X out of that. <laughs> 